विजय साई रेड्डी फाइव मिनिट्स फाइव मिनिट्स sir i thank you very much for giving the opportunity to me and also i am i i thank the honorable uh, finance minister who has headed the group of ministers who has uh, who has fine tuned the uh, various uh, clauses in the bill sir i raise to support on 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 behalf of my party ysr congress party i raise to support the bill sir i'll directly come to the some of, i'll i'll directly refer to some of the clauses and bring it to the notice of the honorable health minister to take the suggestions because i don't want to propose any amendments because my experience nine months experience in this house when opposition when opposition uh, brings some amendment uh, i find that it is all, they are always negated by the treasury benches so therefore i don't i don't move any i don't move any amendments i only make some suggestions no, no, it is sorry. for the it is for the honorable minister to accept the suggestions or, or not it is, i i leave it to his wisdom sir sir i i refer to class Two, two yes of the bill, sir. There, there are three, three clauses, sub clauses there in the two yes. I request the honourable health minister to include one more clause, sub clause, as clause four, to include female sex workers and also transgenders, so that the definition of definition of the protected person would be widened, sir. This is one suggestion which I could make. I kindly include clause sub clause four in. to class uh, to class 2 sub 2 uh, yes sir and i also draw your attention to class 13 which is right based approach for aids treatment and mandating both central and state government uh, uh, to provide the treatment sir and also at the same time this class 13 has to be read with class 14 which my uh, colleague jairam ramesh ji has uh, referred to where in class 14 this word as far as possible uh dilutes the very objective with which this clause is uh, bill is being enacted sir in so far as anti uh, anti retroviral therapy is concerned but he has suggested instead of as far as possible he suggested something else as uh, as 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 you far as possible in Do fact as far as possible no sir why do you say that in fact in fact my suggestion is as is considered or as deems fit as it deems fit probably as is considered expedient or deems fit probably the right word instead of as as far as possible therefore i request the honorable health minister to kindly consider this suggestion sir and coming to clause 3 sub class i which deals with the providing insurance cover to the citizens of this country sir uh, those who are cover, uh, those who would like to take the insurance sir both irda insurance regulatory development authority and also the standing committee insurance irda has referred sir it it can't be charged insurance premium can't be charged at the normal rate whereas standing committee has referred has stated that it should be charged premium should be charged at slightly higher rate in fact unless and until the bill defines that what is what is normal rate what is slightly higher rate there's every possibility of private finance companies private private insurance companies might take advantage of the situation and and they may charge exorbitant insurance premium sir therefore i request the honorable health minister to ad address this issue sir the discrimination of employment this is class 3 sub class a sir this this class prohibits discrimination in employment of course here there's a difference of opinion between the ministry of home and ministry of home affairs and ministry of health sir ministry of home says that the persons who are affected by the hiv can't be recruited to the security personnel whereas health ministry differs with it unless there has to be a clarity on this issue sir and i i, I bring it to the notice of the honorable health minister and there has to be clarity on this sir the, the next issue which i refer to next clause which i refer to is clause 6 class sub class c inform informed consent in fact in the uh, uh, speech given by the honorable health ministry has referred to that also class 6 sub class c exempts obligation of securing informed consent for epidemiological or surveillance purpose sir unless there is a proper definition which which has to be included in class 2 there has to be a definition for this sir what is epidemiological or surveillance purpose that definition has to be it has to be defined in section 2 clause 2 of the bill sir 
Sir, the next, next class what I refer to is class 19, safe working environment. Class 19 mandates safe working environment in the establishment. Here, there's a distinction. I don't really understand why such a distinction has been made by the government, would like to make the uh, uh, such a distinction by the government, sir. Here, the distinction is those establishment which engage about 100 or less than 100. See, the, this differential uh, 100 or less than 100 need not be made according to me, sir. And uh, uh, health minister may address this issue. Sir, one more minute, sir. One more minute. I am I'm not, uh, not giving any political. I am directly referring to the clauses, sir. Then coming to the ombudsman, sir. Of course, it has been left to the state government. And no time frame has been fixed for the ombudsman to pass the orders. I request the government to consider fixing up the time frame for ombudsman to pass the order. And then secondly, sir, the ombudsman, if the orders of ombudsman are not complied with, this uh, clause doesn't say anything about it. So there has to be penal proceedings. Of course, pe penal proceedings are there, but there has to be prosecution proceedings also if orders are not complied with, sir. Therefore, I conclude uh, with these observations. I conclude and I support the bill, sir. Thank you. Very Thank much. you very much.